Okay, we're going to do a very quick uh, tutorial on how to load a KML file into the new Google Earth. Uh, I am on earth.google.com. That's where Google Earth lives. And I just today got a lit trip uh, from uh, Google Lit Trips on Anne Frank, the Diary of a Young Girl. And so what it's going to do is give me a link to a zip file. So this is a bit of a process, but I'm going to go through it step by step. I'm going to go ahead and download that zip file. I'm on a Mac, so it drops it into my downloads, but it's the same process no matter where you are. You have to open up the zip file. And when I open up that zip file, it will give me, in this case, let me drag my screen over here. It'll give me what is called a KML file. Okay, KML is the kind of file that Google Earth reads. So I'm going to come back over to Google Earth. And I'm going to select on the right-hand side the tool on the, in the toolbar, looks like a little bookmark. And these are My Places. When I click on My Places, I have an opportunity up here to import a KML file and either open that file from my computer or from my drive. In this case, it's on my, draw, on my hard drive, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. It might be challenging for me to find it because there it is. Awesome. I open it up, and it is now going to open up in here the KML file of this lit trip for Anne Frank. And so you can see all, all the way over here on the left-hand side, here are all the spots that have been highlighted. The overlay of all these other things, these are all, these are all in Google Earth now. These are all pictures of things. So this is not from Anne Frank. These are from current day. These are all shared pictures. So it, it's, a, it, it's a little crazy. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now if I go to Anne Frank, I can actually double click on these elements over here on the left. And it will take me to and if so in this case we're going to Anne Frank's home. It'll take me in there. You can see there's a lot of 3D modeling here. It'll take me down to a street view. And this will be like a 360 image of where Anne Frank lived. And if I click on this little uh, in information balloon, it will open up in there, in here, whatever information is tied to the point on the map that came from the lit trip. So, and I can generate these KML files from Tour Builder. I can generate them from my maps and then bring them into Google Earth. So both of those tools are uh, compatible with Google Earth. So that's how you bring a KML file into Google Earth.